Uh, wait one second. Sorry, let me just give you a little bit of a clean. I was in such a rapidly shit, rapidly. I was in such like a ragingly shit mood this morning. And then the lady from the restaurant that I booked, a uh, Michelin star, five star restaurant that I booked in London, just called me and I actually have the best bender with her ever. That woman, I don't know what her name is, but she actually knows how to make my fucking day. We just spoke on the belly, I mean on the belly, we just spoke on the phone about belly buttons and I love her. I bet she's a fucking cancer because I get along with cancers like a fucking house on fire. She literally is just like a reservationist at a restaurant. She has no business talking to me for 10 minutes about belly buttons, but we did and I loved it. Um, anyways, it's time for my fucking birthday trip to London, bitches. I've never actually had like a whole weekend birthday ordeal. Like I've never felt important enough to have like a whole weekend dedicated to me and my wee birthday. But, um, now it's finally the time for my 20th birthday. We're going to London. And I'm really fucking nervous because I've planned everything and it was not an easy time. I don't think I ever want to plan a birthday weekend ever again. Yeah, just planning and organizing this birthday weekend has actually been the most stressful two weeks of my life. I swear I've aged 17 years since organizing this fucking birthday weekend. So yeah, I'm really nervous because I planned and booked everything and it's just like a known thing in my friend group to not let Louis plan or book anything because it's gonna go tragically wrong. Like when I went to LA for two weeks, I didn't even know health insurance was a thing or travel insurance. I went to America with the world's most expensive medical bills on the planet and I didn't get travel insurance because I didn't know it existed. I could have literally broken my thumb and been a Fucked and been in debt for the rest of my life. So yeah, that's why we don't let Louis book everything and I've booked everything for this weekend So it's been shambles. Anyways, now it's time to pack. I don't know whose suitcase this is I literally just found it in the spare room, so I'm using it. So yeah, I really hope I don't let my friends down and it will go absolutely tits fucking up But let's be real something is gonna go tits up. Anyways, there's so many things about booking a trip to London that people do not tell you about Things that no one told me about booking a trip to London. Restaurants. You need to book those motherfuckers like three weeks in advance just to get a fucking table not only that, but if you want to go to like a fancy restaurant, none of them have any fucking vegan options. So it literally took me two weeks researching, calling every five star restaurant in London to ask them do they have a vegan option. Most of the time it was no, because I don't know why five star restaurants just aren't catering to vegans these days. But that needs to change. The hotel was fine. I thought the hotel would be the hardest part to book. That was easy and once it was bish bash bosh done, everything else after that was shambles downhill. Anyway, so no restaurants had vegan options and if they did have a vegan option, then I would try to book it like two weeks in advance and it was already filled up. How did Londoners ever go out for dinner? Like, do they actually have to plan every meal that they go out for three weeks in advance? Oh. It literally took me two weeks to find a restaurant that had a spot for us and had a vegan option. And I don't even know if it's gonna be a good vegan option. It might be a fucking house salad. And I'm just gonna have to go all the way to fucking London for my birthday to eat a fucking house salad. And I swear to god, if the only vegan option is a salad, I'm just gonna say fuck it and eat a carbonara. So yeah, if you're ever going to London, you need to have everything planned and booked at least a month in advance. Which, for someone who leaves everything to the last minute like me, I did not fit in well to that situation. And then I also really wanted to go ice skating. And it turns out the ice rings don't open till next week. So I literally just missed it by one weekend and the whole thing I wanted to do in the daytime was go ice skating and now we can't go ice skating because I was a fucking idiot and I didn't read the right weekend that it opens and we're going a week early so now we can't even go ice skating now, on top of that, the club that I wanted to get into is not letting me in because I'm a fucking boy and the club promoter only lets girls in so like what? Like, how am I supposed to go clubbing in London if they don't let boys into the club? Also, not only that, I ordered my club outfit from Urban Outfitters and it hasn't arrived in time. Are we fucking surprised? No, Urban Outfitters never fucking arrives in time. In London tomorrow, I have to go shopping and try and find some kind of baggy cargoes for me to wear to the club. Okay, bye. See you on the way. Okay, we just got to the hotel and we had a little bit of a hectic catastrophe on the train. Oh, this page. And Byron said, hi. We, got, we just got to the hotel and the lady was really, really nice and she gave us like, champagne. what is it, Prosecco? Champagne? Uh, champagne. Champagne and orange. Champagne and orange. This gal trying to get us drunk before it's even 1 p.m. Anyways, um, we were just like minding our own business on the train and then, you know, that time came. It was time for my we. <laughs> what was it time for, Byron? Oh, no. Byron, what was it time for? Byron, what time was it? Byron, what time was it? It was dookie time. Um, so I was just, you know, running my business on the train and then my dookie started to like appear. She started to arise from the depths of my bowels. Uh, I was like, oh, it was time to go, you know, let one rip. And then, so I went to the toilet and I didn't know that we were like at our final destination. So I was just sitting on the, you know, the toilet, literally mid shit. And then Paige starts banging on the door saying that we're at the stop. And everyone was like, everyone had literally got off the train. And by the way, I was like mid shit at this point. And Paige was like, everyone's getting on the train for like the next train. So I literally shit through a whole departure, is that what it's called? Paige was like banging on the door saying that we're like we're gonna leave. So it was a bit shit and I just kinda like had to get up and run. We're going to a place called Brick Lane Vintage Market, it's where like all the big bougie influences go and I'm hopefully gonna find some cargo pants or something, I don't know.
see if I succeeded at booking everyone. Yeah, you? let's see if I can book my to you, Louis. Guys, what do we think? Oh, oh, that's <laughs> no, is it bad? Oh my god, it's really cute in here. Do we like? Oh my god, nice, because I don't think I wiped everything up in that place. How do I turn the lights on? Where are the light switches? Mummy, 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 mummy. It's mummy me, I'm going to leave them on. Mummy, where are the light switches? Can we not open this? Get a little bit of air. <laughs> Can we not get some air in here? I feel a bit like air. Push for it, push for it. Did we get it open? Yeah. Oh, it works both ways. There is no light. This is the light. That is the light. This is all the light we get. Um. What's she not comprehending? Oh. oh shit, there's no light installation here. Wait, let's keep one corner of the room nice for pics, just in case. Um, not with the chewed up bed, I'm not. Chew. Sorry? Oh, the chew. Oh, <laughs> oh this one. <laughs> this is unacceptable! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. £69. Pounds. For someone to be. Who? <laughs> someone had some rough sex. <laughs> okay. Every room you ever booked is something sexual happening in the room. Yeah, I know, I'm a good. The last hotel room I booked, there was come on the sheets. <gasps> Remember when I was on the phone and what was it? Where are we going for <laughs> And then we've got kettle. Oh, we've got biscuit. Love these. Can I have a biscuit? Uh, me as well. Oh, sorry, I guess you don't care. You know uh, they charge that shit to the room, right? No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. This is complimentary. Oh, you can eat biscuits, you know. <laughs> I need to get I need to have at least two rings on for the vlog so I'm not naked. This is my birthday birthday gift from Vanessa. It's a jacket. Jacket! <laughs> It's a jacket. Shacket. It's, it's not a shacket. It's a jacket, but it's a thin jacket. Oh my god, yeah. <gasps> Do you like it? Oh my god, I love it so much. I want to see it. I want to see if it. Fits. I put it on. Oh my god, thank you, Vanessa. Yeah, so the thing is, I still haven't got your birthday present. I really don't I, care. Because I was so busy planning. Oh, so busy. Just but try this on. If we go shopping tomorrow, get anything you want on me. Yes, yeah, I can. Feel it's hard because you've got shit style jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope you like it. Oh, I already know I like it. <gasps> oh wait, I love this. Why am I so fucking sick? Oh Cheap. my god, do you like it? I love it. Oh my god. Let me quickly show you what I got from Urban Outfitters. Oh my god, yeah. This is my Urban Outfitters haul. I got these like cargo things. I think I'm gonna wear them to the club tonight. I don't know if it's club appropriate, but I'll give a fuck. And then the other thing I got was just this like brown hoodie from It's Friends. You know, I really didn't need this, but I just really fucking wanted it. And it's my birthday weekend, so I said, fuck it, I'm just gonna treat myself. You know what I mean? We have like one hour to get to our dinner reservation, so I'll update you on how the that goes, because these holes take literally three hours to get ready for anything. Okay, how's the camera angle? Is it giving Emma Chamberlain in Paris? <laughs> Emma Chamberlain in Paris? Yeah, if Paris was longer. Um, how do I call the front desk? Not <laughs> <laughs> I see little no. What are you guys calling for? What do I ask for? Water. Tea bags. We need about 12. Oh my god, that painting looks like a dolphin. <laughs> Hi. Um, we have, sorry. Is it possible to get some water, a bucket of ice, and some tea bags brought up to our room, please? Yeah, okay, that sounds good. Thank you, bye. Okay, it's so time for me to get into my outfit and go out for dinner. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, my back is well. Oh my god, I actually hate the back of my hair. It's sort of like such a non trend, like natural transition from just a blonde to just brown. I actually hate it. It's actually disgusting. I'm getting my roots done soon, so I can't wait. That's gonna be bad because right now it's not giving. Speaking of giving, I ordered my outfit and I really th like had this like cool envision. I had like more of like a hip, trendy, bad. But instead of giving baddies, giving wedding guests, and I'm really a bit nervous because I don't want to look like a virgin that's been drugged to his parents' wedding, you know what I mean? I feel like that's the vibe it's giving and that's not what I wanted. But I'm going to try it on and hopefully my friends will hype me up. But if not, then I guess I'll just cry a little bit. I've decided I'm going to do a little wee transition into my dinner outfit. Okay, ready? Yeah, do you see what I mean about the wedding? <sighs> yeah, this is what I'm wearing. Hey, yay! No, I don't like it. You? <laughs> no. No. I wanted it to. I wanted. I wanted it to give Pinterest baddie business edition. I feel like it's giving wedding guests. It's giving wedding guests. You think it's not giving wedding guests?
about dinner? Brian, give your honest review about dinner. Um, dinner was good. Small portions. Small portions, very expensive. They charged Vanessa double what they said on the menu. They said it was going to be twenty-five pound, and they charged her thirty-nine pound for a lobster pasta. That she literally ate a quarter of. Anyways, that's besides the point. That was a little bit unfortunate. Anyways, we're going to the club now. Brian's not coming to the club because he doesn't feel like it. Totally fine. Whatever floats your boat. And I've never been out. I've never ever fucking ever been out clubbing in London, so I'm really fucking nervous. I just did my eyeliner in literally like five minutes. These are the rings. Let's fucking go, bitches. This is my outfit. <laughs> Bye! Oh, girl, the elevator. Girl, I'm coming. Anyways. Okay, I forgot to mention in that vlog clip that I'm wearing literally a whole baggy outfit because I do not feel comfortable. I do not feel nice in my body after eating that pasta. I'm very motherfucking bloated. Got my cocktail. Let's fucking do this shit, bitches. Okay, this is what happened and this is what led us here. We ended up going to the club and we were five minutes late to the guest list and it was closed. So then we couldn't get in and then we went for a hefty walk to a club in London, which was all the way on the other side of London called Heaven. And guess what? Dua fucking Lipa was performing there. Dua Lipa was literally inside the club clubbing. We didn't end up getting in the club because it was the line to get in was two hours long because Dua fucking Lipa was in there. And now we're getting sushi in a gas station. Okay, so this is what I managed to accomplish. I don't know if I'm really, this is not what I wanted to look like for Sketch. We're going to Sketch, which is like one of the most popular lunch, brunch, fancy five-star restaurants in London that all the fucking influencers go to. It's one with the really cool like egg toilets, like egg dome, alien shit looking toilet. Anyways, we're going there and this is not how I planned to look on the day, but here's the day and here's how we look and we're gonna fucking roll with it. My timing for this clip is absolutely wackest bonkers because we're actually back from brunch now. But I wanted to show you all of our outfits because my friends look sexy as fuck. Okay, Paige, where's your outfit from? She got these vintage shopping. Oh wait, I need to let you speak. Vintage shopping, Zara, ASOS. Bye-bye. Alright, where's your outfit from? Nike, ASOS, ASOS, Urban Outfits. Nice. Oh my god, Lou, where did you get your outfit from? Shoes, Air Forces, these, ASOS, Vantis, Motel Rocks, this, my dad's wardrobe. Oh, and Nike. <laughs> I should probably be ending the vlog right now, but I don't feel like it's over. I don't feel like I've vlogged enough. Like, I don't feel like I've given enough to this vlog. Like, I feel this vlog was a bit of a mess and nothing like happened. So, I feel like I'm going to spontaneously get my cartilage pierced. Which is a little bit crazy, a little bit spontaneous, a little bit stupid. But, you know, I live for spontaneous decisions and it's probably gonna hurt. This is pretty bold of me, considering my nose gets infected every two weeks. I say if your life's a mess, add to the mess. That didn't make any sense. I'm trying to be inspirational, it's not working. Hi, um, do you guys have any openings for a piercing today? Yeah, well, well, well yes, we can cut in mind. Um, the cartilage. Yes. Oh, yeah, the helix. Is it possible to do like 2 p.m.? It is possible indeed. Okay, Louis. So, mm. so clock today then, my darling, yeah? Okay, thank you so much. Okay, we'll see you then. Okay, Bye. thanks. Bye. Oh my god, I'm getting a fucking cartilage piercing. What the fuck? I literally did not process that in my brain. I just said I'm gonna do it, and now I'm doing it. Change. One please second. Golden. Done. Okay. You got it. Okay. It's a big, big, big. Mm, amazing. Well done. Mm, okay. You okay? Yeah. Yeah. I'm back from the piercing parlor now and I've got this lovely little woman behind me. Me? <laughs> <laughs> so I just got back from the piercing parlor and it was she was rapid. I literally got there. She was like, sit down, she put the needle out and she's like, it's going in. I was like, oh my god, this is happening also quickly. She was such a little rapid weasel, can't believe that. Oh my god, I need to show you. So yeah, that's the piercing. I don't even know if you can see it. Yeah. 
Oh, can y'all see <laughs> that bitch? Uh, it didn't hurt as much as my nose did. I thought it was gonna hurt a lot, but it really didn't even hurt that bad. Um, I really need to pee. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think this is literally the end of the vlog.